Hello everyone. Namaste. Hello. 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 And had a bit of a nightmare when I lost my passport on the train to Shenzhen one day. That was pretty stressful. Now, 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 now. do not like my project. Mm. Oh. So, so especially when there's a conversation with the Chinese people, especially uh, when I was new here, uh, I used to go to the restaurants, and I, when I used to tell them I'm a vegetarian guy, they never understood me that what I was saying. So that was scary. It scary. Yeah, I should do all this work and. I feel so stressed because I don't know how to do this, how to do this. I'm stressed every day, but it's not like not serious. Any, any event like that stood out. Like we saw the side of the hotel, like the darkness, the emptiness, the sadness. So stressed and comfortable. Yeah, mostly taxis because of the crazy driving. I think it was quite recent because I went to the uh, train station and I so forgot my uh, passport. The first way in China is quite stressful. And then also last, like last year, dissertation. Uh, last yesterday at the Big Buddha was uh, like 10 years. No, I haven't this <laughs> yet. It was an awesome time to coming to China. Coming to China, if you don't speak Chinese, it's an awesome this season. And if you're vegetarian, then it makes perfect sense to come to China. This is when there is the lights show in the kind of tower area. So I like the times when we're traveling all together as a group. Um, spending Chinese, spending Chinese New Year with the Chinese family is also really special. And uh, also the, the night when we had a twerking competition and uh, Caleb and Frida twerking—that was really fun. You know, uh, I would say last year when me and my friends uh, we went to Hunan Province uh, for a to celebrate a New Year, and it was one of the best moments so far in China. And I, I would love to do that again. Christmas, we were together, we were all friends and some other people and then we thought let's make some people happy. A trip to Shanghai, where after the event we met a lot of random people who wanted to take pictures with us. That was the first time I actually felt, saw that and feeling like a celebrity was pretty good. Yeah, I think yeah, Christmas and Happy New Year and like traveling to Zhangjiajie and that was like quite good. Yeah, it was really happy times. I stayed with my awesome Roommates. Probably like uh, having food as a group with you guys. Every day is a funny day. Like, not everyone will understand. It's like such a high level. I know. I mean, like. Funny when we with my housemates. Uh, being honest to you, with uh, doing pranks on them. Getting lost a thousand times <laughs> during the first month. I think. Fighting with the LCCP. I booked the ticket for my two flatmates from uh, Spanish from Saudi. I always get the tickets wrong, even even miss the two two. Um, I think definitely Egg Bar with his great twerking moves. I would say the time when we, um, like when Sandy was doing the massage. <laughs> the time, like after class, she was something. It's really funny. Yeah, we met uh, some random Korean guys after night hours, and they came back with us and. Uh, we had a short gym session downstairs with her. Just trying to get in John's wardrobe <laughs> and breaking the door off. Or Sophie's really scared of the the door thing. <laughs> the gate from kids. Me and Lucy and John we we, we sang a song in the stage. Doing oh my god, what's it called? What's that sport? What? The sport. curling. Uh, Cur yeah. Is it? My favorite food is actually the dessert because they have astounding dessert here. I love all types of food, but I don't like the meat, but I like the vegetables. I not like spicy food, really spicy food. Big food, I would say tofu. <laughs> tofu plus vegetables and then for sure me fun, that's rice. My favorite Chinese food is um, the nice time barbecue and the um, Chongqing style udon. <laughs> Maybe hot pot, but not too spicy. <laughs> Sichuan. Yeah, Sichuan. Frog. Spicy. Same frog. Maybe turtle. Oh. Traditional dim sum. Uh, dim sum. 
I say ramen noodles. I have that quite a lot. Awesome. My favorite is that uh, sour fish. Uh, eating hot pot. Uh, Hello, Hello. Uh, As open minds as possible, try lots and lots of new things. Don't stay in the house, don't be scared. Go out and enjoy there and enjoy it and have a fun, ta fun time with. Thing, uh, I would say, being a vegetarian, I guess, uh, I'm a vegetarian guy and uh, it's, if you're vegetarian, be careful guys because you won't have much options here. Okay, make sure you are in China, not in the UK, so you should like to keep yourself um, in safe. I think just try and learn as much Chinese as possible, uh, but then don't worry if you don't know Chinese as much as you, as you want, but just keep, keep trying to engage with people. Before you come over, you know, you see interacting with Chinese businesses is, you know, is a central barrier and I don't, I don't really think I feel like that anymore. I think only the first week is uh, really stressful after that, it's everything will be better and be prepared for the first week. Um, don't go see my agent or my landlord. <laughs> All these Chinese locals. It's really exciting, but it's too crowded to be in China, but it's fun. What is the environment? I think um, I was expecting it to be a lot cheaper. The, the cost difference is, you know, it's negligible really. Because the rent's a lot cheaper, but you know, like four times a week. Yeah. I think it's the language barrier and also yeah. things going very slow, you know, like to get done. It's been an absolute pleasure to be in the program with everyone in the last two years. It's been a great time. Okay, I hope you guys all enjoy your life in China and I hope you have a very happy future and everything is going to be very, very good and you will be successful in the future. That's really fresh memory for us. I would say if you like languages, don't give it up. Because it's quite fundamental for what we're learning right now. If you're going to use it in the future, don't hesitate. If you want to continue, um, just don't hesitate to keep learning. I wish we could have, we should could have a, a chance to like, gather together in the UK. <laughs> Bye bye everyone, it was nice speaking and again namaste. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Just don't do it, don't leave. Oh, you don't have a yes. Oh.